Welcome to Movie Math and Science. In this video, let's figure out which fraction is larger, one half or three fourths. And I'm going to show you three different techniques. The first is you can convert it to a decimal. I know one divided by two is 0.5, and three divided by four is 0.75. So therefore, 0.75 is larger than 0.5. Okay, that's one technique. A second technique is uh, they call it the butterfly technique, or you just cross multiply. 4 times 1 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 larger than 4, boom. Okay, now the reason why they call it the butterfly method is the, you can do this, and that kind of looks like a butterfly, especially if you add that, I guess. Okay, and the last one, if you don't like any of those ways, you can find a common denominator. I know the common denominator of one half and three fourths is four. So two goes, I'm gonna rename the fractions now. Two goes into four two times, one times two is two. Four goes into four one times, three times one is three. And once again, three fourths is larger than one half. Let's do a little bit more challenging fraction. Okay, how about this one? Seven eighths and nine twelfths. I'm gonna convert it to a fraction, when you divide 7 divided by 8, uh, yes, I did use a calculator. Anyway, 7 divided by 8 is 0.875, and 9 divided by 12 is 0.75. So 0.875 is larger than uh, 0.75. So 7 eighths larger than 9 twelfths. Let's cross multiply. Or remember the butterfly technique, okay? 12 times 7 is 84. 8 times 9 is 72. 84, larger than 72. So there we go. And the last one, you can find a common denominator. Okay. I like to use a factor tree. So um, I'm going to factor 8 is 2 and 4 equals 8, and then 2 and 2. I'm down to prime numbers. For 12, let's try 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 3, I'm down to prime numbers. Now I place them in a chart just to organize. Guys, this works for finding a common denominator for any number. I write the prime numbers. I'm going to write the prime numbers for 12, 2, 2. I'm going to skip this to place a 3 here. You, if you have more than one number in a column, bring down just 1, bring down 1, Bring down this 2, bring down this 3. Okay, so far so good. Just multiply these, move it up a little bit. That's 2 times 2 is 4, 8, 24. So now I have the common denominator. So I'm going to rewrite the fraction, okay? And 8 goes into 24 3 times. 7 times 3 is 21. 12 goes into 24 2 times, okay? Let me write the 3 here so you know what I did. 7 times 3 is 21. 9 times 2 is 18. And once again, 21 24 is larger than 18 24. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Hopes it helps. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.